You're watching The American on ESPN from beautiful Dallas, Texas. A crisp day outside this late November. The SMU Mustangs at 4-2 and two bring in Louisiana Monroe. The Warhawks at 2-2 two and two to Moody Coliseum for a non-conference clash. And welcome in courtside. I'm John Little alongside former college coach Brian Burton. Great to have you with us as well. The SMU Mustangs coming off a one and one trip out uh, in Florida. Took down West Virginia as part of that two step in Fort Myers and a really impressive tough performance against West Virginia. How key is it for SMU to be tough today against the Warhawks? Yeah, coach is trying to build that toughness consistency right now. So every game, this game as much as any other game, he wants to see how his team's going to respond and how they're going to show up. Well, some very experienced players on the side of ULM. None more experienced than Tyreek LaCour, who can play a lot of different spots for ULM offensively. Yeah, coach has some familiarity with him. Uh, back at Georgia State, those guys competing against each other in the Sun Belt. Uh, and the floor is a really big key for this Warhawk team. The only player averaging double figures, they'll need a big output in order to run with the Mustangs. Meanwhile, for SMU, Chuck Harris, an outstanding offensive player, and he has shown it since transferring in from Butler. Yeah, he's been awesome. He's played really well, played extremely well his last time in this building. Uh, a threat every time his, his the hands are in the, the ball is in his hands, excuse me, and he's just a player that can go off for big numbers and stretch the defense out to three. SMU wants to be tougher here at home, and it starts out well inside. Keon Ambrose Hilton gets the first two. SMU getting an early defensive rebound for Sam Williamson, who goes high off the glass and good with the left hand. That's exactly what Rob Lanier wanted. Get more defensive rebounds for Williamson, and he turns it into points. ULM grad himself, so is his wife. They met there basically at ULM, and now he's back home as a head coach and has been for 14 seasons. A pull-up three by Devin Hancock goes down only his second three this season you from the floor three of eight so far big problem has been turnovers or giveaways but Smith the straight on three and Jalen Smith rolls it down his ninth triple of the season Chuck Harris we know he can fill it up and Harris coming off the screen hits his first bucket he averages nearly 14 five in the shot clock McCord to the elbow fade away well off, but the rebound fought for and score it for Jalen Bolton, the sophomore out of Zachary, Louisiana. They're a little bit shocked and surprised, and now they got to figure out a way to get going. Williamson has to take a three and hits a run settling shot. Sam Williamson, his first three of the season. Really just playing harder than the Mustangs. They're just out competing them. But back to back threes by Sam Williamson. Don't tell him he's only 24% from his career outside. Back to back triples. And, and what they're hitting is their twos. Right now they're 8 of 14 from two point range, just one of seven from three. Oh, that's a tough bucket by Keon Ambrose Hilton. You want some toughness? There's some toughness by number 22. They do it well after they've touched the paint and create for each other. Open three by Gallion. That one touched the paint. And then a three-point shot by the Warhawks. Savion Gallion. Harris. His three-pointer goes down. A shot SMU needed very badly. And when I say Zurich needs to be aggressive, it's not just scoring. It's just his energy, as Coach talks about, his aggressiveness. Phelps lining up the three. He went four of six last time out against Wisconsin. Really showed up from outside. Incredible player. A five-star type guy. Mr. Basketball in Texas. But an and one three for Devin Hancock back the other way. Another local kid getting big on this Sunday. Devin Hancock hits the three plus the foul. Nice job to sidestep by Gallion. Launches the three and knocks it down around Phelps. Savion Gallion has his second three. Edwards thought about the three, sinks the defense, finds Harris, open triple, and Chuck Harris rolls it down. Outside the arc, Metzarish Beely instead heads into the lane, hangs and hits. Nika Metzarish Beely, the second bucket. The rest of his teammates have picked him up. Harris to the bucket, count that! Shot. Chuck Harris getting it to go. Savion Gallion thought he was in good position, but it's going to count. Gallion with a blocking foul. 20 to shoot it, but Phelps coming off that curl and filling it up from the short corner. Phelps turns the corner. Outside Lanier. Finds Smith. 
Good sharing, but ULM there at every turn as Williamson skips to the hoop for two. Back out to a four-point lead. Zurich Phelps changing speeds and forcing his way up inside the paint. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. I think Coach, uh, Coach would have been impressed with that one. Zurich Phelps comes away with a steal and the score to tie it up at 45. Over Phelps. SMU right back up the floor. Phelps going right back down the baseline for two as we see saw back and forth. They've done a really good job with him. A big shot by Tyrese Watson. Watson coming up big. He has a, you know, you have apps these days and that sort of thing. Three-pointer for the lead, Ricardo Wright. Knocks the bottom out. The Mustangs have their first lead since the first half. Quickly turning the corner and finally getting the bucket. Tyreek LaCour, who had started the game 0 of 11 from the field. Ricardo Wright. Natural born shooter over the top, but it falls right down to Ambrose Hilton. Looked like Phelps kept it alive, and Ambrose Hilton touches it in. Couple extra passes. Smith unselfishly to Phelps, fade away three in the corner. Around and off of the rebound, kept alive by Ambrose Hilton. And an easy chip shot for BJ Edwards at the hole. Phelps rejecting the screen, heading to the bucket, bashing his way inside. So muscular. Zurich Phelps has 20 all in the second half. Defense for SMU has been there at every turn. A scoring drought that is hit three minutes now. A three-pointer by Tyrese Watson, though, bails things out for the Warhawks to keep him in it with 2.20 left. He shared it so much. Williamson out to Harris. And that's how to end it for SMU. SMU responds to a lackluster first half by outscoring ULM by 20 in the second half to win it. Going away 70 to 57. Rob Lanier's team now 5 and 2 on the year.